Okay, okay like Naman. Question you want to ask you about the recent fracas going on at the IPL. So that a certain player said that he doesn't want to play a particular for a particular team and he was shifted to another team. I'm referring to Hardik Pandya. And if the slim similar incident happened in 2010 when Jadeja got banned for one year. Do you think it's going to set wrong precedent yes, if players are saying that no, I don't want to play for this team. I don't want to play for this team. See, ultimately, it's a decision between a player and the franchise. Franchise still have all the right to say that no, they don't, they don't want to let a certain player go. But ultimately, if the franchise says that a player wants to go, and franchise is absolutely fine with it, I think you always want to be in a win-win situation. You want to keep someone who wants to play for you, and there's nothing wrong. You don't want to keep someone who doesn't want to play for you if he has an intention or a heart to go and play for any other franchise. I'm. I'm fine with that. We had a fabulous run in this recently concluded World Cup. But if you were a selector or if you were the captain of the Indian cricket team, anything you would have done differently, any sort of strategy or any player you could have picked instead of any player, no, anything would not, you would have. Done I would not have picked any other player. I think hmm. uh, these 15 were the best. But yes, one thing I would have done differently was being more courageous in the hmm. final. Sometimes you got to take that high risk policy, which hmm. India has not taken it so far in last 10 or 12 years. That hmm. high risk policy is a policy where you say that. It's okay to get all out for 150, but we are looking to get 300. You cannot live, you cannot play a sport that also a high-profile game where you say that we are looking to be there and there about. In a big game, it doesn't work that way. So India could have gone more aggressive, being more courageous because it's not the most talented side that goes on to win the World Cup or big events. It's the most courageous and the most fearless side that goes on to win the World Cups or big tournaments. And India probably has lacked a bit of that. The last question: Do you think there is any sort of instability in T20 team? Because we have changed more than nine or ten captains in the last ten years. And if you look at our test teams or if you look at our ODI teams, only two or three captains. There is sort of stability. You know, see, the I'll, one person. See, I'll tell you what happens is when when a big event like a 50 over World Cup is about to come, the entire concentration is on, concentration is on the 50 over format. Now, when the T20 World Cup is around the corner, which is what seven months away. You'll see the entire focus shifting from 50 over to 20, 20 over format, and you will start seeing a lot of stability as well. You'll start seeing a lot of your top players playing this T20 format. But more importantly, I think India now needs to have a settled team, at least at the T20 World Cup. They cannot think of resting a lot of players because you got to go with a settled mindset and a settled team into the T20 World Cup. Otherwise, again, you got to might have to face the same consequences. Thanks, thanks a lot. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.